Hi everyone, we are planning to open up a shoes company which will be located at Taman Jaya area in Kuching. The name of the company is Step by Step, which is created by the company founders Sulin, Andrea, Sharon, and Yifong. One of the competitive advantages is we use eco-friendly material to produce our product, for example, the recycled rubble. The second competitive advantage is we will create special insole for every edge category, which the natural fiber will be used to produce the insole. For children, the insole will be suitable for their growth or food development. And for adults, we will create the insole that is comfortable for them to walk in a longer period of time. For senior citizen, we will provide a soft and comfortable insole in order to protect their knees and avoid pain. The soft insole also can help to absorb pressure and reduce harm that caused to the senior citizen. The third competitive advantage is we will use parachute cord as one of the materials to make shoes. Parachute cord can be used as shoelaces in the shoes and it can be used as a rope in the emergency situation. The short-term goal for one year of our company is to achieve the sales target of 2,000 pairs of shoes and achieve 5,000 likes on our FB page. And the long-term goals of our company is to operate two branches which are in Cebu and Miri and increase 15% in sales profit within five years. There are four strategies to achieve the company's short-term goals. Provide 50 ringgit Malaysia cash voucher for the first 50 customers in first month. During festive season like Chinese New Year Raya, there will be a special discount on the selected product. 10 ringgit Malaysia cash rebate will be given to customers who like and share our Facebook page in front of our workers and 1,000 flowers will be distributed at shopping malls. There are three strategies to achieve long-term goals. Firstly, give encouragement to promoters in the outlets. This can help to boost company sales. The second strategy to boost sales is by giving 3% commission for promoters based on their personal sales as an inspiration. Thirdly, invest 1,000 ringgit Malaysia into location research for the purpose of operating new branches. Furthermore, the external environment for our company are economics and social culture. The first opportunity of economic factor is low interest rate. Low interest rate allows business to borrow more money for investment and R&D. Then company can launch new products and improve current products. This will retain current customer and attract new customer so the profit and market share of company can increase. The second opportunity is high income level. Individuals with high income will increase in expenditure and will demand more goods and services. This will increase the company's sales and profit. The first trait of economic factor is inflation. Inflation causes the price of raw materials to increase. Increase in labor force also increases company expenses. Both of these will result in an increase in the production costs and the product's retail price. Hence, the demand of shoes will decrease and company might lose customers as they are unwilling to pay a higher price. The first opportunity of social culture factor is social influences. The company may invite celebrities as brand ambassadors to promote the shoes because they can influence consumers to purchase them. The next opportunity is high environmental awareness. Consumers nowadays are increasing awareness towards environment. Our company that use eco-friendly materials might attract this kind of customer. The first trait of social cultural factor is consumer age group. As different age group has different preference, we cannot exactly meet everyone's expectation. For instance, most of folks who concern on the shoes form and do not prefer colorful shoes. Another trait is social mobility. Consumers who move from lower to higher social status will purchase more expensive goods for self-esteem and self-development. Hence, they will rather purchase branded shoes. This is how our organization structure will be look like. At the top level, we will have the general manager. We will have six main departments which are accounting and finance, marketing, human resource, design, production and planning, and research and development department. For accounting and finance, we will have two sub-departments which are accounting and finance. 
For marketing, we will have selling, public relations, advertising, and distribution. For human resource department, we will have payroll, administration, and training and development. For design department, we will only have one department, which is in development department. For production and planning, we will have production, packaging in charge, stock in charge, and purchasing. And lastly, for the research and development department, we will have two sub-departments which are market research and technology research. For each sub-department, we will have five employees. Our company chose to use functional structure for organizing process. In functional structure, people with similar skills and performing similar tasks are formally grouped together into work units. It can bring advantage to our company such as Resources can be used efficiently and worker skills are specialized. Functional structure also brings these advantages to our company, such as limited view of organizational goals. Other than that, poor communications and teamwork across is also one of the disadvantages of functional structure. Company structure is mechanistic. It is easier to control employees and specific job descriptions are given to workers. For fit for work control, the manager of the company assigns a group of five workers to examine the quality and quantity of raw material properly to ensure that the quality of raw material can fulfill the quality standard that the company set and to ensure that there is enough raw material for production process. For concurrent control, the manager of the company requests the supervisor of each outlet to work around in the outlet and inspect workers so that they do not go wrong. For example, if employees give wrong information about the shoes to the customer, then the supervisor can correct the mistake on the spot. For feedback control, the company can create an online feedback form in our Facebook page to allow customers to share their install experience and opinion toward the performance of the product and employees. For example, the customer complained that the worker is being rude to a he or she. The solution is the company will inspect the worker from time to time and discover the real problem. The workers will be given a chance to improve his or her working attitude. If the worker refuses to change, the company will fire the workers. Next, in leadership process, Hershey Blanchard model is used. The selling style in the model is used. It is used when employees willing to perform job with self-confidence but they have insufficient experience. Therefore, they are unable to perform very well. For example, an unexpected situation when a customer is dissatisfied with the product, the employee is willing to solve but he has no idea on how to handle it. So, leaders should be more supportive and encouraging while provide guidance which, in his case, demonstrate how to handle customer dissatisfaction so that the employee can do better. Moreover, telling style is applied when workers have no experience in job given and are unwilling to perform tasks. For instance, a new employed worker who has no experience in production field is recruited under production department. The worker does not know what should be done, which makes her unwilling to perform the job. In this case, leaders should give guidance on how to produce the product so that the worker is clear about what should be done. Then, the leader should check on the worker regularly to ensure that she performs her job properly. In motivation process, the chosen theory is reinforcement theory. Reinforcement theory is applied wherein the employee reaches the sales target set by the company, they will receive a 5% extra commission as reward for their hard work. On the other hand, if they did not reach the sales target, they will not get any rewards. Furthermore, reinforcement theory also steps in when complaints are received. If the company received more than 5 complaints from customers within one year about a specific employee, the employee will get punishment of not getting promotion for one and a half year.